The preliminary conference for three disqualification cases against Bongbong Marcos was delayed for an hour. The reason? Marcos himself was a no-show due to sickness. It's uh, Senator Marcos Jr. Alicante earlier, Your Honor. Um, he is uh, um, not feeling well and he cannot join in today's this infuriated Comelec First Division presiding Commissioner Rowena Guanzon, who was expecting him on Zoom at least, recalled that the cases separately filed by Ilagan et al., Akbayan et al., and Abubakar Mangelen were all raffled to the First Division. Uh, why don't you ask your client to go on uh, Zoom? Um, Even if it's only for isolation, why don't you have a laptop? His absence nearly cost him the chance to defend himself or present evidence against all the allegations. Do you know the consequence under the rules? It will be submitted for decision without his memorandum, without his evidence. But Guanzon asked his camp to simply show a medical certificate. Instead, the division proceeded with the stipulation and admission of issues and marking of exhibits as evidence. Among the issues discussed was Marcos's 1995 conviction for tax evasion and non-filing of income tax returns from 1982 to 1985. The Court of Appeals ruling was also highlighted, but it only affirmed the conviction on non-filing of ITRs, not on tax evasion. Marcos's camp also confirmed the conviction but defended him against disqualification. Admissions that we made, I, I think, works for us. Um, and like I said, it's it's part of the records naman. Uh, naniniwala kami sa legal processes natin, naniniwala kami sa rule of law, naniniwala kami sa integrity ng ating mga institutions. At the latter part of proceedings, Bongbong's camp presented the medical certificate from his physician stating that the former senator was exposed to at least two COVID-19 patients. His doctor said Marcos is now experiencing symptoms like fever, body malaise, and sore throat. The division gave the parties 48 hours to submit their respective memoranda before the division decides on the matter. Mangelen's petition, meanwhile, has been submitted for resolution due to non-appearance of the petitioner or his counsel. Aside from these, Marcos is also facing another disqualification case filed by Salandanan et al., which has been raffled to the second division. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.